across the border to go to work. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Real quick, there were some comments that. Yo, what is up, everybody? I hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. If you're new here, hi. My name is Christina, and I live in Mexico, across the border to go to work. So while I sit in line, I like to make videos talking about my life, daily life, stuff that's going on in this crazy world. So I hope you guys hang out and subscribe for my returning lovers. Hi guys, thanks for coming back. I love and I appreciate you all. So I don't feel good. I'm sure you guys can tell. <laughs> um, it is the first day of my special time. <laughs> And for those of you that don't know, I suffer from PTLS, which is post-tubal ligation syndrome. Ew, what the fuck is this? Do you see this? Seriously? It's awesome. <sighs> Nor my hair. I'm scared to dye it because it's still falling out. I think I mentioned that already. Anyways, uh, PTLS is uh, something that you get after you get your tooth tied or ligated, whatever you wanna call it. If it sucks, I don't recommend getting your tubes tied. Find a different way. Find a different way, don't do this. Oh God, I should not yell. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't feel good. I have a pretty bad headache. I have horrible cramps. My neck is still kind of stiff from the other day. It's not that bad anymore. Um, like I can move it around. When I do that, I kind of feel it. So it's not the greatest, but yeah. This isn't something that I'm not used to. I feel this way every single time I start a period. So it's nothing new. I have excruciating cramps and horrible migraines. Um, I also have leg cramps, um, hot flashes, chills, um, I just don't feel good. Um, I have really bad mood swings. I mean, that's all that's really coming to my mind right now. Fatigue. Like, really freaking tired. In other words, I'm miserable. So, unfortunately, like always, I have to work. I swear, it's like on days that I'm not doing anything, no. But once I have to do something, then I want to feel like crap not the business so anyways i wanted to talk a little bit about my skin my ptls and yeah so if you watched my boxy charm in january my january boxy charm video you saw that i've been having issues with my skin I exfoliated my skin this morning. So I wanna see <clears throat> if this will be helpful for dry skin. I'm gonna use this new pharmacy um, moisturizer. I put a moisturizer on my face already when I first got out of the shower. It's more of like, um, what's that called? To protect you from the sun. Sunscreen? Sunscreen. <laughs> So I put that on as soon as I got out of the shower and then now I'm gonna put this on. Um, my skin does feel nice and smooth. So I'm hoping that exfoliating it helped. But as I explained previously, I will load my face up with moisturizer and then as soon as I put makeup on, it's like a dried out dead piece of fish like it looks horrible and I mean 
you can't see it unless you like are up close but I can see it and I I don't like it and part of me felt like it could have been my makeup and part of me felt like it's just my skin so I wanted to try different things to see you know what it was so the day that I did that video I didn't put on any powders I just did foundation and a blush like a highlighting blush and I mean it still was dry but not nearly as bad as how it looked how it usually looks so I think that helped um, I this is usually what I do I put on concealer I put on foundation and then I put on a finishing powder setting powder sorry and then after the setting powder I put on blush and then after the blush I put on like a highlighter so after all that's done I feel like my skin is just like flaky like super freaking flaky if I can get a picture I will insert it so you guys can see what I'm talking about but it's not good so we're gonna try today and see what happens I like I said I exfoliated my face I just put on that moisturizer. So I'll go ahead and put on my primer now. Oh my god, I'm staring right at it. Do you guys ever do that? <laughs> Stare right at what you're looking for. I'm using the Yensa Color Face Tone Up Primer. I probably put a should have put that eye cream on before I did that. Should I try it? No, it's probably too late. Hmm. I guess I'll just try it another time. I probably should have done that before I put on anything else, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. How do you have short hair like this and your hair still gets knotted? Like how? How? Look at. Watch. Falls right out. I'm gonna be bald soon. So that's that. Oh Lord. I know I'm acting calm about it, but I'm actually freaking out that I'm for real gonna go bald. I'm covered in hair. My hair is growing out, as you can see, yet yeah, no length, still the same freaking length. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my concealer. Okay, so I actually, I like this concealer. I think it looks really nice. It's the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, it is a little dark for me. It's porcelain, but I feel like it is, it's pretty dark for me. However, um, when I put my foundation on, it does help it blend a little bit more. So I just put a little bit under my eyes, on my chin. And then usually I put some here. I gotta put a little bit right there. Okay. I tried using the brushes for this and I didn't like how it blended. So I'm just gonna go back to using the sponge. I don't know. I have really large pores as well, so I don't know if that's part of the problem. But some of the stuff that I've gotten for my face has said it helps minimize pores. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand how they can charge like $60, $80 for this stuff and it doesn't work. You know what I mean? So you would think if they're going to charge that much for something, it works, you know? Or maybe I'm just weird and nothing works on me. So that could be the problem too. I feel like dog poop. I feel horrible. I wish I could lay in bed all day. 
and not move. So there's concealer. Sorry for the close up. I'm really trying to show you guys what my skin looks like. This isn't that bad right now. It's okay. You can see, I feel like right here, it's like, it doesn't smooth over my, those little marks, it goes into them. Do you guys see that? I don't like it. And then you guys can see like here especially, you can still see my pores, like I have large. So I'm gonna go ahead and put foundation on now. I use the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Medium Full Coverage. This is 10, oh, FO1. So there's that. This one I will use a brush for. Okay, now I'm starting to see that look that I don't like. I'm going to use the sponge because I feel like I'm just wiping stuff around now and I don't want like cakiness. I just want it to cover. So I'm just gonna Kind of move this around. Okay, so I think that helps a little bit, but. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that's me. So now you guys can see. Up my nose, but. my big ass forehead <laughs> once again it's not as bad as normal but it is starting to get that flaky that flakiness that I don't like and I would say it's the foundation but that one day I used the foundation and nothing else and it was not that bad so that's why I don't know what it is so maybe my next move will be just using the concealer and no foundation and see how that how that helps um so now I'm gonna put on the setting powder which I use Tarte setting powder shape tape and it kind of looks the same not a huge difference in the dryness I mean we're gonna do blush now. I'm gonna use this new brush that I got for the highlighter. The only thing left now is my eyes and my lips. And so that's not a problem. But so this is, you know, what it looks like. Let me. Um, normally I would do that after I put eyeshadow on and all that, but. Just so you guys can kind of see. I don't know you guys. I don't know. Like I said, I think it does help a little bit that I exfoliated my skin really good this morning. Um, my friend Tanya, love you Tanya, she told me I should get one of those like power brushes that scrub your face so I'll probably look into one of those and see if that helps at all and then you know maybe like I said I'll just probably do like cancellation, try some stuff, don't try some stuff. So this is my full thing so apparently it's not just exfoliating unless I'm just not exfoliating enough which is like I said why I might try that brush so 
as of right now, my next try will probably be, like I said, just the concealer and not using the foundation. If that doesn't work, then maybe just concealer and foundation and no powder. Um, if that doesn't work, then maybe foundation, I mean, um, concealer and powder. You know, you gotta try different things. So that's what my plan is. Anyways, thanks you guys for watching. Um, I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Yes. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.